After more than a year of the pandemic and social distancing job cuts, we all know that keeping our stress in check is very important. So our guest next is Dr. Stephanie Hancock, and she is going to talk to us about how we can keep our stress in check and maybe some coping mechanisms. Welcome to Studio 10 today, doctor. Thank you, Holly, for having me. I appreciate yes. it. So how can we, let's, let's start out, how can we keep our stress in check? Oh, my goodness. Uh, just like you said earlier uh, regarding uh, the pandemic, uh, there's been an increase in uh, suicidal rates. Uh, a lot of people are having depression and anxiety and even conversion disorder. But here are some ways that you could keep it. Number one, slow down. A lot of us are just running all over the place. Um, I, we, we're getting increased anxiety. We're getting depression. We, I mean, we're just all over the place. So one number t- major tip is slow down. And that's a good tip. Easier said than done sometimes. But of course, yes. when we're hearing it, then we are reminded to slow down. So I know for me, like when I start getting stressed, I start doing like these little shallow breaths that aren't really mm. doing anything for my nervous system. What do you recommend when it comes to breathing like that? Well, so here's the, the, the words for today is slow down. So likewise, when you talk about breathing, just like you said, a lot of us, we're always, <laughs> right? And yeah. so it's important for us to take the time out to really experience that breath. For example, you breathe in and you release it slowly. And you breathe it in and you release it slowly. And you experience, what you're going to experience when you do that is a lot of energy coming out of you. And you're releasing that tension. You're releasing that agitation, that irritation. You're releasing it when you breathe in and you breathe out slowly. Do you have a specific time that you recommend as far as like how many seconds we should be breathing in, how many seconds we should be breathing out? What's the best? Hmm. Well, um, some would say count five, right? When you look at the numbers, you just say on the count of you hold it for five, five, four, three, two, and you release it. And you breathe in five, four, three, two, and you release it. I just did it with you, and now I'm already relaxed. I'm ready to, like, take a nap now. Not awesome. Work. I love it. <laughs> okay, so self-care is obviously important during the pandemic, but what about all the time, all year round? What is the best way to practice some self-care? Look, number one, what do you love to do? What's your passion? What are you passionate about? Do you have a belief system that you're really passionate about? Do you have, I often say to some of my patients, what do you love to do? Some of them love to read. Some of them love to crochet. Some love to just hike. Whatever it is that you love to do, bring it back. I know that we have the pandemic out there. There are still some things that we could do. Yeah, practicing social distancing, but we can still do some things. So if, if, if there's anything there that you love to do, if maybe reading, then take the time out, away from everybody else, center yourself and read and enjoy it. Maybe going out, taking walks, take that time out, center yourself and just enjoy, enjoy life. Uh, Those are some good ways to help us avoid the stress. Now, how do we know when it's been too much and maybe we should, you know, go on and seek some professional help? How do we know? What's the best indicator? Oh my God, anxiety, number one right? Increased heart rate, um, agitation. A lot of times people are getting very irritated by, I mean, just short fuse lately. Particularly, we've been shot in for so long. I can't believe it's even a year of us being shot in. So if you're getting anxious, if you're getting panic attacks, if, you're, if your heart rate continues to just go off the beach and you're very uncomfortable about it, if you're busy chopping other people's heads off in your home, Uh uh-huh it's time to (laughs) see somebody like me (laughs) time to get some help all right awesome let's go uh practice some self-care why don't we yes all right awesome doctor thank you so much for your time today and keeping us on trend and helping us stay away from the stress thank you so much for those tips today thank you holly for having me thank you